What is the most human thing you've ever done? What is the most human thing you've ever done? What are we? What are we? From conception, humanity is made distinct. We are born with neurons labeled von economo neurons, specialized cells that are responsible for social awareness in several different species. Even so, humanity lays claim to quantities far surpassing any species on Earth. Similarly, 31 to 51 day old human embryos develop neurons called predecessor cells. These neurons are found in no other species on Earth. In short, we have the most asymmetrical, the most specialized brain in the animal kingdom. Mentally, we are far removed from the diversity of life on Earth, and that's merely the brain in its distinctiveness. Humanity, in its totality, is separated from the rest of creation. Or, perhaps not. As our friend Michael Gunger wrote, I am mountain, I am dust. Constellations made of us. There's glory in the dirt, a universe within the sand, eternity within a man. Life is here, now. Breathe it all in, let it all go. You are earth and wind. And yet, being human means a never-ending, insatiable need to make sense of things. Whether it be through religion, science, or a combination of the two, there is something we don't understand we will find a way to explain it. Through these different lenses, we find deeper meanings for everything from creation and life to death and the afterlife. We as humans would never be able to be happy or thriving in a world we didn't think we understood. While the meanings we choose to believe can divide us, meaning itself is a quintessential part of being human. We are never truly divided though. In fact, we all have sparks of community in us. Above anything else, our emotions make us who we are. They structure our morality. They influence our choices. Whether we like it or not, humanity lives on this earth together. Relationships are the basis of our condition. In fact, humans need humans. We're all here together. We all feel together.